Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I want to check out this new tool that supposedly allows you to actually design and code things directly from scratch. So this is my first time trying this as well. So let's just see what you can do. So you can design with English. You have a canvas and focus mode where you can go ahead and I'm assuming design things. You have prototyping there as well. Uh, teams and collaboration and exporting the design, which is pretty basic. So let's just start designing something. Okay, so what do I want to design? First of all, let's just go ahead and design something like uh, design a linear uh, type, linear design. Actually, let me give it the actual link of the application as well. Linear app design a website like linear let's just give it that and see what it actually does i'm not even going to ask it to generate something else apart from this let's just ask it to do something like that and see how good of a job it actually does and actually let me just compare it with lovable as well because i recently heard that lovable 2.0 came out their figma to design conversion sucks like figma to lovable conversion or whatever it is it doesn't even work so i definitely would not recommend that but let me just give this the same prompt as I gave it here. Where did my prompt go? Design a website like linear. Okay, and then let's publish it. Let's go and let's just compare these two things and how well they actually design a website. Okay, so I think lovable is done. Let's just actually go ahead and publish it as well. This sucks, <laughs> honestly, this sucks so much i mean if you're obviously a mediocre designer um creating something like this is okay but i mean this is definitely not impressive especially the time and age that we're living in right now what is this never mind let's just see what it actually what polymet actually did so this is polymet let's just see the design that polymet did obviously i think it is slightly better and it seems like it's also converting this thing into not just design, but obviously code as well. So this is definitely better. It actually has a mobile menu as well. I'm assuming this is also going to have a mobile menu because I asked it to create it from scratch, but never mind. The, the links actually disappear on mobile. So lovable sucks. Uh, and we have this particular thing. So obviously this is working much better. Obviously the overlapping thing is still not fixed but it is what it is okay let's scroll down empty screen on the right we have these testimonials which obviously the interaction is okay it's not too bad the monthly yearly thing is also working so it's linked from a design perspective honestly they're not doing such a great job but from a development standpoint i think polymet has done a much better job than crappy uh, lovable so definitely huge props to polymet on that particular thing and let me just go ahead and actually give it an image as well of a design. So I'm going to go to my Figma. This is my Figma design. I tried converting this particular project into lovable and builder.ai or IO or whatever it is, but it just did not work with lovable. So what we're going to go ahead and we're going to just go ahead and give it this particular design. So desktop is uploaded here. Let me just go ahead and actually upload this file. Okay, drag and drop doesn't work. So that's definitely something that they have to have a look at design this page design from image okay i'm not even sure if i need to say something more to it but let's just go ahead and actually have it designed from the image that i've just given it i don't think uh, polymet actually has an integration with figma and even the integration with figma didn't really work well with uh, lovable so let's just see what it can actually do with just an image okay the image is there let's just go ahead and actually publish it the import from figma is extremely buggy it doesn't even work on lovable so i'm not even using it okay guys this is what lovable did lovable actually did try to convert this page into its own variation of the design so i'm not gonna say it did a bad job obviously it sucks um, I could have done something a lot better with HTML to design or design to HTML plugin or whatever that plugin was that I've actually covered in one of my videos. And it even went ahead and actually used the image that I shared as, a, as an image that it's just going to upload here, which doesn't really even make sense. Okay, so we have this particular section. We have the logos. That's fine. We have the feature section. We have the testimonial. So it actually did a nice job at it. And then we obviously have the blog section. So it definitely did a good job. And let's go to our uh, polymath tool. 
polymat actually did a nice job as well though it completely changed the design so it doesn't even look like any the actual image that i sent it but still i mean it's doing a good job so most of these tools don't really respect your decisions uh, or your instructions as such even with the linear page or even with this particular front when uploading an image but it's still better than nothing is it going to replace designer soon definitely not especially considering how crappy these tools are right now so that's pretty much it do subscribe to hit the bell icon i'll see you later take care bye